450 engineers and technicians have been hard at work for six years building HOPE. Literally. That's the name of this spacecraft, the HOPE probe, which will launch towards Mars later this week. It will make history as the Arab world's first interplanetary mission. And while this Dubai-based venture could radically improve the world's understanding of the Red Planet, the project manager has his sights set closer to home. Reaching Mars is not the main goal here. It's a mean for a much bigger goal. It's about the future of our economy, uh, about creating the post-oil economy, a creative, innovative, and a competitive uh, economy. Oil is the bedrock of the UAE's economy, accounting for 30% of the nation's GDP. But with demand expected to peak within decades, leaders have made economic diversification a top priority. And they hope initiatives like this will help. So when it came to building the mission, the government was very clear with the team. They told us, build it, don't buy it. You can work on a knowledge transfer program. So we partnered up with the University of Colorado uh, at Boulder. 15 international partners contributed to the autonomous spacecraft, which will try to capture the most comprehensive picture of Mars's atmosphere ever. Three different instruments will analyze hydrogen and oxygen levels for an entire Martian year, or 687 days. And this data could help researchers infer why the red planet became uninhabitable. Scientists believe that more than 4 billion years ago, Mars uh, was a life planet. Uh, it had similar features and characteristics as, as Earth. Something went wrong there and it turned into a dead planet. So better understanding what happened to Mars will help us better understand the changes happening on Earth. If all goes according to plan, hope will reach Mars in 2021, coinciding with the 50th anniversary of the country's founding. It'll be an impressive feat for a space agency that's less than a decade old, and where over 90% of the mission's employees are under the age of 35. But team members think this is just the beginning. This is the golden age of space in the UAE. So this is what we're starting now. So we're having our astronauts, we're having our Mars mission. So this is going, I think it's going to go down like this decade. It's going to go down in our history books. For that golden age to continue, encouraging children to pursue scientific studies is key. And initiatives like this could help them do just that. I feel in the beginning, uh, just before the mission uh, was announced, there was this kind of stigma if you go into science, like where is your career going to be at? But I think for our kids and the next generation, even my daughter myself, like she can grow up and say, you know, I want to be an astronaut. 